All right, what is up guys, Jared Campisi with my good buddy Dotto and the Teener Wieners. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a really exciting video because we're gonna be installing a full carbon gas tank for our M1000RR and as of today, the bike should be back together and actually rideable. Now we're not gonna be riding it in this video, we still got a lot to do, but um, she should be all back together and you're gonna get a very good idea of how this beast is gonna look by the end of this video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, the beautiful Christina K is gonna do the unboxing for us. Don't forget, if you can't get enough of this woman, all her spicy links are in the description below, along with Dottos. I need a new welding blanket. <laughs> oh my God. Is it sponsored? <laughs> That's, that looks like something Bane would use. Uh, that is ridiculous. Blanket and uh, it's, it's seen better days. So. Yes, it has. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing here is unboxing the carbon gas tank. And don't forget, guys, this bike will be done hopefully either later this month or early in February and we're going to be giving this bike away. So if you haven't already, head over to Patreon, find out how you can be entered to win this bike. It's always the first link in the description below. And a huge shout out to Manny from Moto Million for sponsoring our builds. <clears throat> yeah, this is crazy. We couldn't do these crazy builds without them, so continue to use motomillion.com, my code camp easy to get yourself some money. What is happening? She just wants to get this video demonetized. All right, I, I'm excited oh, to see this. Stinky. It's really packed up it in there. Stinky. We're gonna have to transfer all the um, stock parts from the stock tank over. Why is there a big hole in it? Why is it so Oh, that's the gas? top of it? That's the top of it. It smells like gas. Yeah, really? They, have they to, test it? Yeah, but you gotta think, like they can't just test it with any kind of liquid. Yeah, it has to be gas, right. yeah. Look at this. We've been waiting on this thing from full six for so long. Look at this beautiful thing. This tank is, I think, $2,600 or $2,800 plus taxes and shipping fees. Yeah, almost three grand for this thing. Look at that. Holy shit. What's it lined with? I'm really curious. Usually, I think Kevlar. Oh, it is Kevlar, yeah. and I just saw some fuel in there. Nuh uh. Yeah. Really? There's still fuel? Oh, it's not fuel, it's a cleaner. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Dude, look at this. They use brass uh, fittings. Is that what this is? Mm -hmm. We have a new gas cap we're going to be using. This is insane. Like. <laughs> oh my god. That is, we've only done, this is our third carbon gas tank that we've put on a bike. They're, I mean, these are rare, especially with the carbon subframe. I believe this is the world's first full carbon M1000RR. Somebody can correct me in the comment section Wait, below if I'm wrong. Um, we did a carbon V4, mm -hmm. our first one. Oh, so we did a 1299 carbon gas tank. We did the V4 carbon gas tank. I did an S1000 carbon gas tank. And now we're doing an M1000 that's carbon gas work. tank. That's like $30,000 worth of gas tanks just right there. So light. So again, that's how we fund these builds. Patreon.com slash Camp Custom. So if you guys can help fund the builds and you want to be entered to win them when they're done, we, we massively appreciate everyone who signs up over there. That's the only reason we're able to do this. Also, we're going to be ordering a new sticker for this. So stay tuned for that. We're going to do that later in the video. Are you are? So, yeah, I'm gonna get a blue one. I think it'll look uh, a lot better. Yeah, I found some blue ones online, so like yeah. So that's it, that's our carbon gas tank. So I think what we should do is get everything off the stock tank and let's weigh this. I wonder how, how much lighter it is. Okay. We have to pull all the gas out of that other one too. So thank you teens for unboxing. Thank you Moto Million for sending us this beautiful, beautiful tank. And uh, let's get to work. All right, so we already ran into our first problem. We didn't even barely do anything. There's some sort of compound in here. I don't know if it's from. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like fine glass, but they. That, doesn't that look similar to what we use on our monster when we strip the tank? Yes, and they except blast for it? there's no reason for them to blast. Blast this. a brand new tank. So I'm thinking it was probably, um, probably from the either polishing, if they're polishing the clear coat uh -huh. on the outside, and they got on the inside of the tank, or it's possibly something to do with the how they seal the inside of the sealing the, the carbon Kevlar. Kevlar. Yeah, so, man. So we got to make sure we get all that it's out of like there. It's like a reddish, it looks like glass, like fine How are you going to get that out of there? Uh, I'm going to take a, a damp um, paper towel and get it out by that. And then we're going to have to we might need air in there, uh -huh. but I got to wipe everything We might out. need teens' little hands to get in there. Covered, yeah. See? We might need you after I all. I think her head will fit in there. I foreshadowing what I have Her, her fisting too. might have been on yeah. par there. She might have been... Demonetized. Uh -huh. All right, before we get started, Dotto and I are going to be doing a toast. Um, not only to the build finally getting put back together with full carbon, but also to Dotto in his first publication on fatherly.com. They did an article on smoked cocktails and they featured Dotto's cocktail smoker, which is super freaking cool. So again, all the links to Dotto's stuff where you can buy his products and uh, follow him on social media are in the description below these videos. But uh, that's really awesome. So wish him a big congratulations in the comments below. and. Uh, Cheers to everybody for uh, watching the vids. Let's see how this bad boy is. 
That's very good and different. That's very good. So this is what the famous grouse. I think it's pronounced. Never had it before. Gross. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I looked it up. I've never had it before too. I saw it on the shelf. One. I like it. it. I like. What's it the too. price point on this? Honestly, I think it's like. 30 bucks or something like that. Really? 30 or 40 dollars, if shit. I remember correctly. Yeah, I that's... never look at prices of whiskey, I just grab stuff off the shelf. That's super good. So cheers. Yeah. Cheers to you guys. Look at that. First thing we found about the tank that we love. Dotto. Look how dope this is. Carbon I cup know. holders. Let's do it. I think we might need to start start making them. We need to start making <laughs> carbon products. We do. In general. I've actually... Actually, aren't you going to be doing some carbon... Should I say anything yet? No, okay. but... But... You don't know. But I might be doing some other carbon stuff. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll let you guys know whenever whenever it all comes to fruition. But um, first order of business is what we're cleaning out the interior of this. Mm -hmm. So what all we're going to do is we're going to take this candle and we're going to hold it inside and make sure there's no gas fumes. <laughs> oh god. I think the best way to clean the, the stuff that's in there out of here. Obviously, a lot of people are going to say we'll blow it all out. I want to get all the large stuff out first so it doesn't get into uh, any of the vent holes or anything. So I'm using uh, isopropyl alcohol, this is a 70%. Essentially it'll clean the surface, it won't damage it like acetone might. Yeah. And then um, it won't leave a uh, residue That's behind. Good. Yes, there's probably other stuff to use, but this is probably the safest because we are going to put fuel in there and we don't want any kind of contaminants. So I'm basically just going to put some on these nice shop towels. Do you want yeah. Teen's little hands in there? You're gonna see what you can do first. Um, I can fit in there. Okay. So there's. Some, oh wow! You can see look, it. Look. If yeah. I turn it upside, you can see it. Uh -huh. Watch. Oh yeah. I don't know if they can, but I can. It's all in. <clears throat> trying to get it all in one right, spot. Ready? Oh yeah, nice. That's a good way. <laughs> Actually, to get, let's that's dump. a good way to get rid of it. Oh yeah, I don't want to get that all over my camera lens. Dump it all out. How'd that what do? What you do is you put all that fine glass on your camera lens and you wipe it. Oh through. God. All right, so in here, I'll have to go through like basically all the surfaces, but all the flat surfaces and all the bottom areas where it settles, just wipe it all out and then take a look. There's a good bit on there. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it comes off on camera, but- You're not gonna see it. It's all, so fine. All the glassy stuff, yep. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do this for a little bit and I'll give you an update. So I forgot we also have a new gas cap. I didn't want to do carbon on this since the tank's already carbon, so I thought that might be just too much carbon. We'll see how it looks. If you guys think we need more carbon, we can always get another carbon one for Manny. Hold on a second here, I need another set of hands. Oh my God, that was really in there. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy. So we went with the black gas cap and then the blue accent, and then it actually came with, looks like titanium bolts. They could be aluminum anodized, but I believe they're titanium. So that, that will be showing out here. Oh yeah, let's take a look. You getting that thing cleaned up? <laughs> My arms like barely fits. Look at this, hey, hold this up to that. Flip that thing over. Let's see this. It'll be sitting, obviously we gotta transfer over the, don't let that fall off. See, I think that's, that's the move, don't you? Instead of carbon on carbon. Absolutely. Yeah, it breaks it up a little bit. Look at that. I'm so freaking hyped for this. All right. Holy shit. Yeah. Look at that. It's so a little like, details, guys. It's like that. It's going to have those blue titanium bolts and then the <laughs> tank cover and everything Ooh, around it. Oh, I'm in love it's with It's going to have bike. the blue titanium bolts. Yeah, it's starting to get real now. This is nice. Yeah, how beautiful is that? All right, let's keep going. I think he's got it all cleaned out, right? You know, if we if we take all this brass to the scrapyard, it'll probably pay for the tank. <laughs> All right, so we got the tank all cleaned up. Dotto wanted to show you the inside of the tank because it looks super cool. That's so, the carbon Kevlar. So I will mention with one the thing that coating. I noticed. Um, yeah. On some of the corners while I was cleaning out, I noticed a little bit of the resin sticking up and I took it out here with my hand. That's too much light. Just uh, just try to... Double like, check. Yeah, double check. You don't want that getting into your fuel pumps or any of that stuff in yeah. there. Yeah, I mean, most of it was cleared out. Yeah. Now the only thing that I have to do is blow it out and then I, I just see a couple of little pieces of, a um, little bit of a, the towel that I used, which we're gonna get all We're gonna blow it out, yep. yeah. That's the next step. Yeah, because it's sharp. There's a lot of sharp edges in there, so. This is the kind of stuff you wanna do when you're doing carbon, anything, tanks, stuff, stuff like that, because, yeah, obviously it's a much more difficult process than just like an aluminum or steel tank, so. All right, we're gonna blow it out next. People have been asking me what we're doing with the stock parts of the bike. We're actually sending them all back to Motor Million. So if you guys are interested in any of the stock parts from this, the exhaust, the subframe, the fairing, the gas tank, all that stuff is gonna go back to Motor Million and then he will have, I believe, for sale. 
So if you guys are interested, I would say shoot him a message on Instagram and just say, hey, I'm watching Jared Phil. I'm interested in stock parts from the M1000RR, and um, they should be there probably in a week or so. Um, so that's what we're doing. We're sending everything back. So if you're interested, let Mo and William know, and uh, hopefully they can take care of you. All right, we got all the stock parts boxed up. We're going to be shipping those out to Manny uh, probably next week because we still have a few more parts to put in there. Uh, we're heating up the fire over here. Look at this. That is insanely hot. We're also roasting some stuffed cheese sausages. Jalapeno, Jalapeno cheese. cheese stuffed <laughs> sausages. And uh, we got the tank set up. Look at that. Before we do anything, we want to pull all the gas out of this and weigh both of these tanks. So Dado's using his trusty uh, siphon pump. Siphon pump. It's weird if you guys never seen one of these. They're pretty questionable how it works, but. <laughs> Um, we have 93 in here, so we want to save it. We're going to swap it over to the new tank because I want to be able to start this for you guys today. So look, possible. it looks like a glass marble in there. Yeah, that's weird. And the cool thing is, now, don't make jokes, but whenever you put this inside of the tank where there's uh, liquid and you go like that, what it does is it actually, it creates a, uh, a pulse and it, once the gravity takes over, that pulse continues and pumps the fuel, and that's all it is. There's no yeah, that's pretty crazy. And then it, it'll just keep siphoning. Who it comes up with this shit? Almost 100 percent until it's gone. Until it's done. Until yeah. it loses. So I'll that's what we're gonna do right here. now. We're gonna use this nice cool container, and we are gonna reuse the fuel that's in there because it's high test mm -hmm. and it's not that old. So no, we got it opened up. I'm so excited for this. I can't even explain. Oh, you know what those things that came. They were probably for the gas tank, not for the subframe. Yeah, so we got Velcro yeah. with the subframe. Yeah. And I was like, where did these go? But yeah. apparently, that's where they <laughs> yeah, go. That makes a lot more sense. It's cool because I threw them out. Oh, good. All right, ready? Yeah, jerk it off. There it goes. So he's going to jerk this for a little while oh, and then. There it goes. Wow. Ready? Look. That's insane. And there's nothing powering it. That is so crazy. Okay, we're gonna let that drain and then we'll go from there. So first things first, we have to take everything out including the fuel pump, grommets, little clips that are around here. And we'll do that, then we're gonna weigh both tanks once I get the rest of the fuel out of here as well. And uh, we'll compare the weight and then we'll swap everything over. All right, took all the clips off, rubber grommets, and since we're not swapping the uh, fuel cap over, we're leaving that, leave on, that. on the tank. Yeah. We're sending it to Manny with no key. Oh shit. <laughs> we can just replace it. We can leave it right? open. So we'll leave you, it open. So you can take it apart. Yeah, perfect. Um, and then these are eight millimeter. We gotta get these out and get the plastic fuel pump assembly out of here. I believe the heat shielding came with the new fuel it's, tank. Yeah, we uh I set it right here. Yep. Awesome. So Alright, so let's get this guy out. Alright, how much gas is gonna come out? That's the question. This is all getting put Remember, on guys, a new tank. stay nice and organized. Uh -huh. um, gas shouldn't come out at all. There's a aluminum uh, oh, ring. Right? Wow, they even put BMW oh. on that. Good job, guys. That's pretty cool. And this is gonna smell awesome. I, I actually love the smell of gas. So do I. And you were also mentioning seven is your favorite number. Yeah. And the fuel tank has 77 on the bottom. I was so. born February 7th. I turn 40 next month, guys. Woo! Your boy's getting old. Damn. Yeah. We're gonna be building hub arounds. <laughs> <laughs> Wheelchairs. All right, so biggest thing to remember, here's a sock, I call it. It's a screen filter, whatever. Uh, and here's a fuel pump assembly. Holy bojangles. Jeez Louise Hernandez. Just gotta, gotta make hey, apparently you're not allowed to swear on YouTube anymore, so. Are you serious? Yeah. So we're gonna have to try and be really careful about swearing moving forward. A bunch of my videos got demonetized. Jeez, that's a lot of stuff. Well, you gotta make sure that the float doesn't get bent and this tank is shaped kind of awkward. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna be very cautious to which angle I pull it out. So I think one of these sides will probably be better. Let's see. Like this. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. That's the, is that the sensor to, to know how much fuel you have? Yeah, but you have- There's gotta be a better way. There's a fuel line here, electronics, um, positive and negative for the fuel pump, but how they have it set up is you have to either take all this stuff off first, which I'm gonna to try to avoid, or you gotta get it out without bending any of the oh my gosh. other components. Right. Well, good luck with your Chinese yeah, torture thanks. puzzle. Thanks. So I'm gonna to try to show you this without dumping. There's still gas left on the bottom of the fuel tank. So this bracket here holds the fuel pump in. I'm not gonna disconnect these lines. I'm gonna to try to do it without, but these clips right here release the fuel pump out, 
and you sh it should be just as easy as releasing all the clips. You might have to reach in there and pull the pump out because I can't do it. You want me to grab this? No, pull this pump out. This way? Which part? This part here needs to come, come out. Yeah. I can't do that while I'm filming. Okay. Let me put this down. All right, so the best way to do it is pull, there's three clips right here that hold Plastic this, clips. yeah, that hold the metal fuel pump assembly in. And then what I did was had Jarrett take a flathead screwdriver, put it in here and then just turn it and then the whole assembly should slide out. So let's see if that's, you gotta be very careful because there's so many components here. There's this line, which you shouldn't be able to bend or you shouldn't bend so it doesn't get damaged and that's your float for the fuel. And now we're a little jammed in there. But anyways, this comes out this way and then that'll allow us to release the whole assembly out. Good God. There we go. Weighing the stock tank. Five pounds, 14.8 ounces. We'll call it five pounds, 15 ounces for ease of math on the fly here. I don't think it's gonna be a huge difference, although it does feel a lot lighter. Let's see. Three pounds, 12 ounces. So that's two pounds, 14 ounces, almost, almost, Actually, almost three pounds. Wow. Oh, sorry, no, that's two, three pounds, two ounces, right? Yeah, so it's a little over two pounds. Every ounce counts. But we'll take it. Look at that. Sliced up the first smoked cheddar jalapeno sausage. And we got some Adato smoked cheese. What is this? Cabot sharp cheddar. Oh my God, it's so good. All right, let's keep, let's keep working and eating. All right, so he's basically just repeating the process. Yeah, so I got the float in there. The most important thing is do not bend that or break it. Yeah. And then I slid this in. And you want to line up, if you look through here, you want to line up the port for the fuel. You see that? Yeah. Oh. You want to line that up right in here and then click it in. Okay. There it is. It's nice and tight. All right. It doesn't come out. And then the, now you have this filter, a.k.a fuel sock or whatever you want to call it which is super clean by the way no yeah. contaminants on there which is good yep and then this whole thing slides does in does that need to sit a certain way or is that sitting how it's supposed it, to sit? it does there's a, a squared off section mm -hmm. and if you um if you look in the proper orientation it should sit i believe like this we're going to double check it okay but it sits like this and then the aluminum plate with the writing facing the tank uh -huh. fits over it like that and then you put the bolts in you just kind of line them up and cool Put them in. I dig it. All right, so I was completely up, the tank's upside down, so I was completely wrong. The square part goes here, which is a, really, it's not at the bottom, it's at the top. Yeah, this okay. This would be the top of the tank. So anyways, this is the orientation, and the whole thing's kind of cockeyed. Yeah, which is really it's, weird. <laughs> yeah, cockeyed. Cockeyed. The worst kind of eyed there is. Uh -huh. And then you kind of slide this on, line up your holes, like that. And put the bolts in. And put the bolts in. now. Make sure that all your surfaces are clean. What I like to do, which don't do it, Dotto. Other other people don't agree with. Sometimes some mechanics, <laughs> idiots. Um, I lube up the rubber because rubber dries. It cools and heats and has chemicals and stuff hits it, so it dries and cracks. So I will put a little bit of lubricant on this uh, seal here before we put this back on there, and then we're ready for reassembly, baby. Next uh, issue we ran into is um, there's some clear coat in these bolt holes. Um, not sure why that is, but it's in there. So Dotto's taking a pick. Yeah, you can actually see it in there. The I don't want to chase in. it with um, an actual thread chaser because it'll, it'll push it in. Push it in there. Yeah. So I take a little pick and pick away as much as I can, and then I drive the bolt down. See? What a pick! Uh, the great pick. <laughs> Wonderful pick. <laughs> The only time I like picks in a man's hand. There it is. There it is. So I'm gonna do that for each one. And then hopefully these bolts will thread in. All right, so that actually worked. He was able to get these started. We didn't tighten everything down just yet. He's gonna hand tighten them just to be safe. Next thing we need to do is actually remove this uh, fuel cap because the stock one, because we need um, the bottom part of this. Look at them over there. <laughs> we need the bottom part of this to swap over for um, this piece here. You gotta reuse the uh, bottom, basically like the gasket, the rubber gasket in here. Christina went outside because she's getting effed up from the gas fumes, so we wanna get this gas tank out of here as soon as possible. So we're gonna swap this over next. There's four bolts that hold the top section on, and then this bottom bolt here holds this piece on. Mm -hmm. It's like a, like a bottom insert 
essentially a funnel that has all the venting um, ports on it. Then you have two more bolts here. So okay. let's take all that out. This is the part we can send to Manny, although I guess he can't use that because he won't have the key for it. That's right. But we'll send it to him anyway. Merry Christmas, Manny. All right, so you'll notice that looks exactly the same as on the carbon tank. And this is what gets reused right here. So we should probably just swap the, you want to swap that straight over? You're yeah, look at that. very <laughs> sleepy. <laughs> You're liking this video. Give it a like in the comment section. And a thumbs up. And a thumbs up. That's the same as a like, Dotto. Oh, let's swap this over. Cut. All right, so we set the tanks exactly the same way. So we know, it kind of looks like a, like a urinal. How this rubber piece goes in, we're gonna swap that back over because that's getting reused. Put that in and don't then- strip it. Yeah, don't strip it. The one time we don't want stripping. Usually we usually men like stripping, but not, not on this, because that would be bad. We need a whole other tank. This one took six months to get to us, so. Okay, now we can swap over this with the rubber gasket and the new bolts. All right, it's time to fit. We got the rubber piece on there. That's all good to go. Bolts are tightened down. Now we're fitting the uh, top of the gas cap. Yep, there's a rubber um, housing that goes on there. Like a grommet. Like a grommet. Washer, whatever. Yeah. So this guy sits in neatly like that. Yep. And then we put the bolts in and we tighten it all down. Uh, we With have these titanium. These beautiful titanium blue bolts. Mm -hmm. Look I can't see shit. Sick that is. Dude, I'm so stoked. All right, gas cap is on. Look how incredible that looks. We ended up removing the uh, little sticker right here because it was an Italian flag and this is a German bike. So it just didn't feel right to me, you know what I mean? It didn't really sit with me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so that's how it looks. Absolutely incredible. Love the titanium bolts. Love the blue accent. And now we're gonna transfer over the rest of the hardware. Everything's prepped, the tank is all prepped, ready to go, you see that teens? Yeah, looks cool, beautiful. yeah. Everything's prepped, ready to go. Um, Dado, which side do you wanna be on? So we have two vent lines, one's over here, uh -huh. one's right there. We're we doing the top first and then the bottom? We have three connections on the bottom. So if you lay the fuel tank, match up this bracket, kind of swing it up. Like that? Yeah, swing it up, um, <clears throat> get the bottom first, and then as we put it in place, like this. hook up the two vent lines, like this. we should be good to go, yeah. Can you get in there? Yeah, I'll get her in there. All right. All right, so this line here for the servo, which we no longer have, tuck that guy underneath. We served that. <laughs> wow. Okay, set the fuel tank down a little bit. Down? Yeah. Okay. Let's see, you gotta plug these in correctly a little bit further. Okay. Let's see. A little bit more, a little bit more. A yep. little bit more. Oh, that's not clicking in. Uh oh. Okay. That's a great one. Good job, Jared. Why are you blaming me? I don't know. You're the closest person to me that can get blamed. Okay. I blame Christina. <laughs> Okay, one more. One more. Wait, wait. Wait, wait, baby. This way. No, that's not right. Gotta rotate it. It's a little dark in here, so it's hard to see. If teams would have had a flashlight, that would have been ideal. Okay, they're both. All three lines are clipped in. Two okay. electronic lines. So one's a fuel pump uh, feed. The What's other the one is the sensor for the fuel level, and the last one is the fuel. And then you might have to lift that up oh. to get it in here. Okay. That should fit on here. Yep. And then the vent lines. Get those guys on. Oh. Oh, okay. And there's one on that side. Uh huh. Is this on? Yeah. Little vent tubes. Okay. Dude, look at this. This is what we've been waiting for. It's getting there. That is absolutely insane. Holy Gorgeous. Shit. I know on camera you probably don't. It just looks black on camera, but in person, oh my god, that is incredible. All right, fuel tank hardware. Yep, let's do it. Well, after all that, getting the tank installed and getting super excited, we realized we forgot the uh, heat shielding. So we gotta take it back off and put this on. All right, fuel tank's back off. We aligned it just like this one so we know exactly how this piece goes on there. And Dotto gets one chance and he already screwed it up. You only get one chance. I told him, I was like, do we really even need this? And he goes, do you want to fire? I was like, yeah, it would make me feel like a Ducati then. Wow. Oh, you just, just kidding. He just busted on Ducati. Yeah, they're my the, right. the only company that actually works with me. So wow. I gotta keep them I gotta keep them happy. Just kidding, Ducati, I love you guys. They don't watch my BMW videos, it's okay. Alright, heat shielding is on. Now we're gonna repeat the process and I'll show you what Did it you looks really like have to show this? when we're back. I hate you. Alright, 
Uh, we're gonna reassemble it. I want the whole bike reassembled. We might not put all the bolts in since they're gonna have to come back out anyway um, when we do the um, titanium bolts. But I wanted to at least give you guys like a preview of how it looks because it's insane. That's where it, that's where it goes in there. I know, but we got a fitment issue here. Uh oh. Don't tell me that, Dodd Schools. Dodd Schools. Dotties. Dotties Potties. Dotties Boom Mm hmm. All right, so again, we're just kind of test fitting everything right now because we got to put the Velcro on this. But for now, we just kind of want to lay everything on there and just kind of get an idea how it's going to be. How's it going to be? You don't even have to clip them in if you don't want to. Dotskis, there you go. Uh, lineup is, wow. How's it look? Oh my God. We gotta get the seat on there. Does it fit? Holy shit. Teens. Teener wieners, look at that. It's back together. Yeah, and then again, we'll have all the titanium bolts. We'll probably do a whole episode just doing titanium bolts. That looks so good. <laughs> that looks insane. Uh, Absolutely insane. Uh, so guys, the giveaway yeah. is in May, <laughs> so we have enough time to ride it. <gasps> Dude. It. This is how you want your bike to look, huh? Right. This was Christina's bike originally. Uh, I thought I thought the original paint scheme was actually not bad. Yeah. I mean, this is this is next level right here. And I've ne I used to not like glossy carbon as so much, aggressive. but I'll tell you what, that <laughs> looks. The only thing that trumps this is a grom. Oh God, don't don't you start. So the only thing that would trump this would be if it was a satin carbon. Yeah, I agree. Oh, Sat wow. satin carbon would be disgusting. Yeah. But yeah, there you go. That's it for this episode. Carbon gas tank is installed. We still got some bolts to put in and things like that but uh, we'll do that in the future. Next episode, I think we're gonna do chain and sprocket and lightweight rear rotor. Lightweight. So that'll be a lot of fun. And then this bike will be pretty much rideable. So that's awesome. I don't know if we'll have any time to actually ride it because it's winter time here in central Pennsylvania. Why? But yeah, we need to get out and ride this thing eventually. That, I could just sit here and stare at this thing. That is insane looking. So don't forget, Patreon.com slash Campeasy Customs if you want to be entered to win this bike. Actually, we're going to go order a new sticker for the uh, Acra muffler right now. And um, yeah, it's always the first link in the description below. Huge shout out to Moto Million for sponsoring this build. We would not be able to do bikes like this without them. And we've got uh, a few more episodes left, so make sure you get signed up. Uh, give the video a big old juicy thumbs up. Dotto, thanks you for your hard work. Teens, thanks for your help today. And um, that's it. Subscribe if you haven't. Give the video a thumbs up. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.